This is hopefully the last coat of finish going on. Sand it in between coats with uh, 320 and then 400. This will be the fifth coat. Do you see any runs? Any drips? Any runs? This bowl is finally done. I got five coats of Forsby's tongue oil on there. Um, it's not just the tongue oil, it has varnish and other stuff in it. So it cures to a nice hard finish. Uh, you see this? I had to uh, put a uh, ratchet strap on there just in case. Threaded rod and mold. Um, so now I'm going to take it off and I'm going to get rid of this waste block and then uh, recess the bottom and get it ready so I can hang it up on the wall. Normally, if this was a like a smaller bowl uh, that wasn't so intimidating to turn, I can make a reverse uh, like jam chuck for the lathe and mount it on backwards, and then turn this off, um, and then you know recess the bottom. But it's a little too big for me to do that, I think, successfully. So I just bought an electric hand plane from Harbor Fruit. And in the past, I just used an angle grinder with a like chainsaw uh, attachment on it, um, and then just like grinded it off. But this one is pretty big, so I'm gonna try and just uh, use an electric hand plane to get rid of all of it. Alexa, turn on the dust collector. this ring made in MDF that I turned on the lathe. I have a couple of these in different sizes for the bottoms of bowls like this. So I'm going to double side tape it to the bottom of this bowl and use a trim router uh, with the bearings right along there. Where's Todd? I wonder where Todd is. stay here because this wall has just got too much red on it but it's up a little bit too high 
which I don't like. So it's probably going to go on a different wall, but it will be up on my website uh, if you are interested. So thanks you all for watching. Do it. Not your water bottle anymore.